It's really the time to start considering electric vehicles. While most of us may have experienced a slowdown during the global pandemic, automotive manufacturers certainly haven't been pressing the brakes on their technological developments, with most manufacturers making 2021 the year to debut their all-electric offerings. In this video, I'm going to present to you some of the most interesting and relatively affordable electric cars that you can go out and buy today. The Rivian R1T. After years of development, Rivian is finally releasing to the public their fully electric pickup truck, one of the most popular segments in North America. All-wheel drive is standard on the 2021 R1T, thanks to a Tesla Model X style arrangement where each axle is powered by its own electric motor. This enables Rivian to operate the torque and direction of each wheel independently, opening potential increased modes of operation and off-road nimbleness. Naturally, comes with all the features needed to go on a great adventure, including additional storage and power wall capability. Prices start at £52,000 and that includes a 135 kilowatt hour battery with a 300 mile range. The Polestar 2. Following on from the headline grabbing hybrid, the Polestar 1, Polestar's second offering is a lot more affordable and designed to displace the Tesla Model 3 in the market and really shows how Volvo and Geely are becoming a serious proposition. With attractive looks, excellent build quality and all the features expected in this price range, the Polestar 2 looks to be a solid investment. Prices start at £46,900 with a 78 kilowatt hour battery and that will give you a 292 mile range. The Lucid Air. Lucid's entry-level model of its Tesla S rivaling luxury saloon The Air boasts a roomy luxury cabin, advanced entertainment system, driver aids and eye-catching body styling. For those needing to cover more ground in a day, the Lucid Air boasts an impressive 406 claimed mile range of power output of 612 brake horsepower on their touring model. Their base 395 brake horsepower base model though starts at £40,000 with a 74 kilowatt hour battery and a 240 mile range. The Kia EV6. Learning from the mistakes of their previous hybrid offering, the Nero, Kia spent a little bit more time on the styling on their new EV6 and it is a stunner. Running their all new electric EV platform presents a decent challenger in the 40 to 50k EV market. Like the Porsche Taycan, it features an 800 volt system which allows it to charge to 80% in as few as 18 minutes at 350 kilowatt charger. The GT model with its 584 brake horsepower output will leave most of its competitors in the dust. The base model starts at £43,895 and boasts a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery and a 316 mile range. Ford F-150 Lightning. The F-150 is both Ford and America's best selling vehicle so it only makes sense for Big Blue to release an all electric version into the growing EV market. The F-150 Lightning gets its power from two electric motors. Customers are able to use their truck as a power wall to run tools and camping equipment. Like the Mach-E, the waterproof front trunk gives you plenty of additional storage. And don't worry, it's still a workhorse capable of towing £10,000. Prices start around £40,000 with a 100 kilowatt hour battery and a 300 mile range. The Mustang Mach-E. Ford's first EV has Tesla's Model 3 clearly in its sights and brings a very competent alternative into the marketplace. SUV styling and great performance suggest the Mach-E is going to be a great seller and the range sports several performance and range options. Prices start at £40,000 with a 76 kilowatt hour battery and that gives you a 280 mile range. Tesla's Model Y is a little easier to categorise over the previous models as it's more of an evolution than a revolution with it sharing over 75% of the components with the Model 3. This represents a consolidation in the platforms which is no bad thing but what the Model Y does feature uniquely is 10% more volume, a novel new heat pump recovery system and a, U and a single piece unicast rear underbody owing to Tesla's recent acquisition of some of the largest casting machinery in the world. This means simpler installation and a far more rigid structure in future Teslas. Typically as with all Teslas the Model Y comes with a range of packages and range options. Prices start at £35,000 with a 75 kilowatt hour battery and a 280 mile range. Xiaopeng P5. The Xiaopeng P5 features cutting edge styling to match its electronic package and level 3 autonomous driving system. Set to be a tight competitor to Tesla's Model 3, the P7 infotainment system sports similar functions including pay for apps, 
providing e-commerce, music and gaming. Prices start at a very reasonable £22,450 with an 80 kilowatt hour battery and a 311 mile range. The NIO E58 Unashamedly targeted at the luxury market, the NIO E58 sizeable SUV sports a body almost made entirely from aluminium, dual 322 brake horsepower e-motors, Brembo brakes and a suitably opulent interior. Conveniently, the ES8 is equipped with seven seats, always useful for butting the kids between playdates. Prices start at £78,000 with a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack and 310 mile range. Rimac C2. I could admit that this is on the more aspirational end of this list, but the Rimac C2 represents the truly ludicrous end of the EV scale. Its 1400 kilowatt drivetrain accelerates the vehicle to 60 miles an hour in 1.8 seconds and it tops out at a cool 258 miles per hour. Prices start at an easy two million pounds with a 120 kilowatt hour battery and a 400 mile range. So there you have it. While they're certainly not the cheapest form of automotive transportation on the market today, electric vehicles are certainly starting to creep into the affordability of most people. It's going to be really interesting to see what the various players do over the next few years as EV manufacturing costs are set to match parity with those traditional vehicles that are being built right now. So what's your opinion? Are you still sitting on the fence undecided whether or not you want to jump onto the EV bandwagon? Please comment down below and let me know what your views are.